Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, today we're gonna do a little review on the roof rack that I uh, just installed. So uh, if you are interested in the same uh, thing and you end up buying it, please take a look at the install video. But uh, for now, here's the review. So overall, uh, pretty satisfied with this. I would say that the um, installation was probably a seven, eight out of 10. Um, fairly simple, should probably take you maybe an hour, hour and a half, uh, depends, you know, if you lay everything out and, and get everything going. Um, it's, it's pretty straightforward uh, as far as that goes, uh, once you kind of have an idea of how it all goes together. Um, so check out, once again, I'll, I'll plug it again, shameless plug, check out my install video, you can get an idea of like what you're in for uh, with that. But what I wanna cover in today's video is um, basically all the features of it. So it has really nice aluminum rails uh, as far as that goes. I'm come over here. So it's pretty solid, hangs on there really well. Um, these parts are plastic, uh, they feel nice, the hardware was good. Um, as far as the backside, they provide little rubber uh, kind of grommets here to make sure that uh, your hardtop is protected. Uh, like I said, everything's on here really, really good. And then, you know, you can see there's two roof rails or two uh, rails on the roof rack. Um, so, you know, it allows you to store a good bit of uh, stuff up there. Would have been nice to have it, you know, maybe go to this back one um, just for the option of a longer. I, I don't, this is my first time with a roof rack. Um, so it's all new to me, but um, it would be nice for, you know, I, I would imagine rooftop tents need um, kind of the extra support back here um, longer rails. Uh, it would also probably allow you to get one more bar in there. So you could do three versus just the two. Um, so that's kind of my thoughts with that. Uh, I would like to show if the hard top comes off, at least I know some of the uh, roof racks allow it, some don't. This would be um, pretty much for the first one. I don't think they allow the middle one uh, usually on the four doors to come off. Um, two doors, I think, is pretty much just the clamshell uh, all the way up, the, eliminating this middle section, and then you still have the T-tops as far as that goes. Um, so this should apply to the two-door, uh, but I can't guarantee it. Um, so let's see if they, uh, they come out. So uh, it looks like it does not come off, unfortunately. So uh, that's kind of a bit of a miss in my book, um, being able to take off your hard top. Uh, at least the front would be kind of nice. Um, so maybe there, there would be a, a future model uh, of this roof rack, you know, can, can devise to allow you to take this off. Um, it looks like it might, but it kind of gets hung up on that front hook over there. Um, and so it just doesn't want to kind of get past everything that's there. Um, and with the location of the roof rails, uh, it does not allow it. So even if they shifted these back, you might be able to then get it cleared past this rail because it seems like you have enough to go up and out. Um, so that might be something that they can, you know, play with as far as product development goes. Um, so a little bit of a miss there in, in my book though. So here you can see we have a nice little camping chair. Uh, it fits nicely between the, the two rails, um, I'm sure it would work on the front as well. And uh, we climb up a little bit more here. One nice thing about this is they do give you little hook holes here um, to be able to tie down, strap down, whatever you need. Um, again, this is plastic, at least it feels like it. Um, I think this whole, the whole piece is, and then this part is aluminum here. So um, that you just have to watch your tension, most likely. Uh, you don't wanna you know, crack it or anything like that. Um, overall, looks good. Like I said, really sturdy. Um, product came out really well um, once you get past a few of the hiccups in the instructions. Um, like I said before, kind of a miss with the rooftop. So if you can't get this panel out, you can't get that panel out. If you can't get these panels out, you can't get the middle panel out. So definitely cannot have your roof come off uh, with this roof rack. Um, from just assembling it, it basically looks like you could um, possibly, you know, um, let's take a step down here for a second. 
Uh, loosen these up, maybe get enough to pop, you know, the backs off. And then same with the fronts, you take off um, these two bolts that put the, um, the cover on. And then, you know, you could pop this cover off and then there's two more right here and you could pop those off. And then maybe if you had a partner, you could remove the whole rack um, at once. Um, I haven't tried that. Not sure if that would work uh, like that though, but it seems like it might be possible. Um, so yeah, seems like it would have a good enough, uh, good enough storage space, at least for most stuff people would have kind of in the back here. But overall pretty happy. I'll try it out for a few days and see how uh, it goes and uh, how I like it, if there's any wind whistling noise or anything like that um, that comes of it, but um, I don't expect any issues. As far as height goes, uh, it looks like this adds about three and a half inches or so. Um, I think with my rough guesstimate measurements, uh, the total height on this ends up being about um, a little under 77 inches. Uh, so just make note of that if you have tight clearances anywhere or anything or you're worried about how high uh, the rack. I, like I said, I think the highest point is this kind of ridge back here um, as it kind of slopes slightly uh, as far as that goes. Um, so just wanted to mention it just in case anybody has some height issues uh, with that. As you can see, looks Looks pretty good. Overall, pretty happy with the install. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.